Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Every real number has exactly one negative. Now, if you recall from the field properties of the real numbers, every real number has a negative. What that means is, for every real number x, there exists a real number y such that x plus y is equal to zero. Right, and this number y, which satisfies this condition, we call it a negative of x. But our goal in this video is to prove for every real number x, there exists exactly one real number y that satisfies this condition. That's really what this theorem is saying. And we're trying to prove a statement about every real number. So give me an arbitrary real number. I'll call it x. And our goal from here is to show that x has exactly one negative. That is, we want to show that there is exactly one real number y that satisfies this condition. Well, we know that there is a real number y that satisfies this condition. But we want to show that y is the only real number that satisfies this condition. And to do that, what we really want to do here is we want to show that every real number that satisfies this condition is equal to y. That is a way that we can prove uniqueness. So let's give ourselves an arbitrary real number that satisfies this condition. Call it y prime. Our goal from here is to deduce that y is equal to y prime. Now notice we have that x plus y is equal to zero and x plus y prime is equal to zero. So x plus y and x plus y prime must be equal to each other. But then by the cancellation law for addition, the x's go away and we're left with y is equal to y prime. And this is exactly what we wanted to deduce. So this proves that y is unique. So really putting this all together, we gave ourselves an arbitrary real number x. And from here, our goal was to deduce that x has exactly one negative. Well, we know that x has at least one negative, right, called y, we'll say. But to show that y is the only negative of x, well, we proved that every real number that satisfies the same condition as y is equal to y. That proves that x has exactly one negative, right? And so this completes the proof. And instead of calling y a negative of x, we might as well call y the negative of x, right? So given a real number x, we will refer to the negative of x as negative x, right? So for every real number x, there is exactly one real number. We'll call it the negative of x such that x plus the negative x is equal to zero. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.